Oh wow, border again. I had just played this map actually. So this might be the second border game in a row if this ends up being a video. I don't know right now if every game's going to be a video though because it's coming to the end of the season when I'm recording this. There's only a few days left. So we'll just have to see. I am still an emerald. I did get diamond on my main account at this point. I think at this point I'm just going to try to get diamond on both since I don't have much time left. And then next season I'm going to play way more at the start. I've only really started grinding the last like two to three weeks. So I'm not even going to get 100 games on either account. I'll solo queue by the way. I think I played like 80 something matches on my main account and then I'm coming up on 60 on this one. Somewhere around 50. I mean, if I go on a big winning streak the next couple of days, and I guess I could still get champion on this one. My win rate's like 65%, so that's great. Obviously, my hidden matchmaking, if you were wondering, is in diamond and champion. I'm playing those kind of players every single match. And it's not easy in solo queue. No coordination or comms or anything. My teammates usually just die instantly and it's a 2v5. So let's see. I don't know if I can have two border games like back to back really good. The last one I went 9 and 2 I think. Again, I don't know if this is going to be a video even. If I get some better ones and maybe not. I still have a couple pre-recorded games on my main account I'd like to upload to. I think at this point you guys probably have seen the uh, Oregon match, and I still have two more, which is that, I believe. I had some really good ones pre-recorded with a lot of tips. I bring the Warden Shield just for my team. I could probably be greedy and bring the C4 too, like the Nitro Cell, but eh, I'll help them out. Drone. I'm gonna get triple wall reinforced. It's good to reinforce this so you can extend out a little bit. You can play in Fallon and then an office. I guess this is called Offices in the Compass. Interesting. I always thought it was Office. Any OG players out there? I used to play Maestro ACOG on the original border in the site for secure area. Isn't that a crazy thing? Secure area. So long ago now. Another drone. I'm just gonna chill in this area. I'll hold the back side of the site. Oh my god. That dude has a shotgun. I thought I heard someone sprinting. Am I just chill here now? Unless they start just killing my whole team. See, we have two teammates in sight. Mute's Fountain. He could help me out here. They did breach triple. Let me try Mute. I'm just getting crazy pushing that. This mute did push that. I don't think they even know I'm here. I'm still just gonna chill. 3v2, we got numbers. Another one wants to jump in. Oh, what? I guess he went to the door. And there was another there. Mute's holding a very bad angle. Don't do this. He has a shotgun out and he's holding a such a long angle here. <laughs> Pre fired off the earth. Right there, Mute got perspective because he was way closer to that wall than the other dude there. 
Oh, nice. Oh, heal, heal. There you go. Why would he just peek into that? Okay. All friendlies have been neutralized. Well, not much to go over there. We shut down the rush by the Hibana shotgun. Very interesting stuff. Uh, and then... I did get one kill, trying to trade mute if he did die, but he didn't still, so that was good. And then, uh, yeah. I guess I shouldn't have swung that, I should have just chilled in the corner. I was trying to help my teammate. I like trying to be a good teammate, but I really shouldn't when I'm solo queuing. I should play a lot greedier and just bait them. If he dies, I'm going to get the kill probably anyway, because they're going to check that rat corner. But I want my teammates to be happy, and I try to save them. Probably shouldn't. That's a bad tendency I have. I'm just always going to be a good teammate, so I can't help it. If I baited my teammates more, I had like a 3 KD at this point. No, not something like that, but something crazy. That's the other unselfish thing I'm doing. I'm bringing the shield for my team on armory because I... I trust them a lot more if they have some more utility over there, even though we do have the Azami too. Maybe I should just bring the Nitro. I could have Nitroed off that door when I swung the uh, other dude that was there. Don't even know who it was. Maybe a Sledge or something? Try something. I've been trying that a few times, but I've never seen anybody. Nobody comes up there these days, I guess. I'm trying to incorporate some spawn peaks into my game because I really don't spawn peak much. I just never did. I'm almost level 400 at this point on my main, but still don't really spawn peak much. Do you guys spawn peak? If you do, tell me your favorite spawn peak in the comments down below. Maybe I'll try doing it in my next video on that map. I'll remember it just for you. I'll take a note. Damn, they double drones on 90. Also, I'm just kind of chatting with you guys, and I, I don't really know what they're pushing. I assume Buck's below. I hear that. I'm just chilling on the backside again because my whole team is over there. One out four remaining. There you go. Easy headshots on the side because they never check this corner. Nobody breaks that window either for some reason. Just a zero again. Here I'm shooting sure a cam. You know what? I'm going to play a little bit more passive on this still. I'm going to back up into my corner. This angle right here is a really good passive on the hold. They're in the open at that point. It's too late. Okay, nice. Let's go. That works too. Uh, A bit questionable on the aim. That dock is a diamond, by the way. Anybody can get these ranks these days. Oh my god. That dude was aiming at his feet. Okay, I'm just going to play the lesion for this site. I'm going to play up top of my impacts for vertical. That's a good strat to do. I do like doing it with Capcan too, but he did get banned, unfortunately. Might have been our team too, I forget. I'm trying to think. Uh... Protect the bombs. I don't know. 
I'll see you when I'm editing. I'll still get the hatches just in case I die up here. At least I'll have to go through that too after. Maybe if I get the hard breach, they won't be able to open them. So that never hurts. Drone up there. Am I tripping? I knew I wasn't. Yeah, the only downside in reinforcing the hatch in the small office is now I can't really drop off safely if they start taking heart up here. But that's okay. We'll need to try to reinforce these two. Otherwise, I'm a goner. I'm just going to take one with me if I can. There's the goose. I'm just going to rat out, honestly. They have a sledge. They're not even worried about me. Last bull on the hood. I'm gonna get back to my corner. Well, that was a huge win. Very fast defense for us. I'm having a really good game again, actually. I'm not surprised, really. I do love Border. I've been loving this one the last month or so. It seems like every game I play on it, I have a really good one. I haven't gotten it a bit either until this last day. Now I've gotten it twice. Seems like it's been a week or more now since I played it, really. Hmm. Like I was showing you guys last video, if you watched that one, should I just keep going Habana and try to get that single wall? The one that leads into Archives. A lot of people don't do that. They just go for the main breach, or they just push Archives from the window and the door hard. But if you get a Habana shot into that to make a long angle, you can see all the way back to both sides. It is really, really OP, and a lot of people don't use it. Also, the other team has three people with zero kills. That's unfortunate. Damn. We need to locate a bomb. Team's going to go Nook for now and see. Nook is the safer bet. I do have grenades. I need to start playing grenades more. I just need to start playing Nook and Yana. I do love their guns. I use suppressors on both. I actually really like angle grip suppressor on Yana. The G36. Oh, they're reinforcing this. That's unusual for border matches. Usually nobody does that. It's okay. Again, I think I'm just going to go Nook for now. Maybe next round if we lose. Or if we win, I'll go Habana to change it up. Oh, shoot your default cameras. Watch for your spawn peaks. I was a little slow watching that one. I might have died if uh, somebody was there. Always equip your size matters charm. We're good here. Argus online. I'm gonna zombie. I'm, I'm very glad I brought the nades. I guess I could get those with a bond, but still. Since nobody else is over here. I think I'm gonna see if my team needs grenades. They just might. Well, I don't know if Ace is even going for the wall. Probably an ADS, right? Oh, hello. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought the IQ was helping me there. I thought she was on the door still. 
My team is uh, not having a good time here. Oh my god, that aim. Oh! Oh! That IQ is the same person that was playing mute earlier. Just saying. Somehow a diamond, though. Okay, we know they're going to have to be vents unless they go tellers and bathroom. I do like taking Twitch for this one. If they have a castle, I can just hit it from outside on the main door and the window, so it's not too bad. I like to have the extra information that I have so many drones that way. And for a post plant, usually I like getting a plant down. A lot of the times they won't even have holes above because of this meta right now and rank 2.0. So they don't really know how to play this site. It happens all the time. I can just run in and plant in the corner. Especially if my team clears out some room somewhere. Kind of hitting the carry so far. If I don't get a couple kills, we're not doing too well in that round. My team will pick it up though, I have faith. You always gotta have faith, even if they're solo key randoms, and we know that works. Whoa. Weird place to put the rook armor, but okay. Hmm. The shield, huh? The shield doesn't really affect me, though. I'm not gonna run in that way. We do have an ash, we have a zero with the gone six, so they can take care of it. Oh, they have a Solus. Ah. Uh, shouldn't have gotten that greedy with my drone. I was trying to see what was going on. They do have a smoke, so maybe they made holes above? Let's see. Get a little spin for you guys. I'm really liking the sensitivity I've switched to. I thought I heard someone running around. Zero is already going up the stairs. What the fuck? I take everything I said back about B Mark. He just got the open over the ash. Crazy. I was gonna go put a claymore above, but my team's in, so I'm gonna go in too. Somebody's above, I'm just gonna... Yes, he is. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the other site. He has no way to stop the plane over here. The maze to get over here. Okay, nice, that works. No clue what's going on. I guess B-Mark got friendly fire there, too. I told you my team would step up. Look at that. I didn't have to do anything. Let's go, guys. Mm -hmm. They might go bathroom tellers now because that's the better site, no doubt. I don't know why teams still like going vents. They're living in the past. I was considering going Capital, but I'd rather have the F2, honestly. Some solo queue, I'd rather have the good gun, you know. Capital's gun is good, the para, but the fire rate doesn't do it for me. I would say I'm a headshot player, so I like having the high fire rates, especially with a higher ping. Where I live, my ping isn't the best. I get like 60 to 70 usually. So I like having a higher fire rate like Twitch. Her guns, like the not the only reason I use her, because the drones do, but still. That's the other benefit of her over Capita. I get four drones. I feel like that's super underrated on Twitch. If she had the gone sick, she'd be the perfect solo queue operator. God, imagine Twitch had grenades. That'd be way too much.
Imagine Capitao had grenades again. He used to have them back in the day. A lot of you new Siege players probably don't know that. God, back in my day, IQ had grenades. That was the go-to. That was an IQ made. Thermite had grenades too, initially. That was crazy, a hard breach with grenades like that. Kind of like Maverick. Well, right now, I actually have the Flash and the Vert Grip. I've been trying them out. I still think I like Angled Silencer better. Oh. Mm -hmm. If he was peeking that, that would have been a freebie. I love when people peek that. Thunderbird was hanging around here. I think I just seen her on the stairs. There she is. Not a good start for my team. Okay, good trade. I'm gonna try to get in here in a second. There's a Thunderbird dead. Did not think she was still there. My teammates outline almost lined up perfectly. Don't know what they're eating and there's nobody in here. Four v one guys, let's chill. Well three v one now. Gonna give them pings. We have a Montane, all he has to do is play on the other side or not. Montane, what are you doing? Oh, that works. That was lucky. My last bullet went through the wall and got us head. Unlucky. Good crosshair placement though. Like I said, I'm a headshot player. The G3 is another good gun if you can hit headshots. That was crazy. We almost lost that and it would have went to overtime. My team blew the 4v1. Why would Montaigne in any world on ADS right there? When he just says the diffuser into 2v1. Okay, nice. We're still getting 58. Next game will be Emerald 3. So not too far off Diamond. Oh, that was a 5 stack we were playing. Uh, that's insane. I'm destroying the 5 stacks myself on this map lately. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. I try to be uh, really helpful in these videos. There's the stats if you were wondering, too. I'll go to the advanced. But yeah, I try to give you a lot of tips for how you can improve in your solo queue games. 63% win rate, 52 matches. Not too bad at all. Very good stuff. But again, I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like down there below if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.